Hey guys, I'm Adrienne and welcome to my channel, The Minimal Approach. So today we'll do something special. We'll do a slipcover for this couch. It will be a unique pattern that I will do using this book that I rent at the library. Let's take a closer look. So since all sofas are different, you have to do your own pattern. I'm doing only half of a pattern since my sofa is symmetrical. In order to do that, you must measure your sofa and place a marker in the center of it. To do the pattern, you can use muslin, or you could do it using it, not any cheap cotton that you will cost you under one box a meter. The goal is to align the fabric with that half smart on the sofa. Then you do the back, the front of the back, and the seat, and then the arm. It's my first experience doing a project using canvas and it is pretty heavy weight and it's 100% cotton opaque. I struggle after I washed it to make it all nice and neat to prep it for the pattern. After you measure all the pieces of the pattern, do a quick visual of how you will spread the pattern on the fabric to make sure you maximize it. Make sure you have the right width. For me, it was 167 centimeter wide. Fortunately, it didn't mess up too much my measurements since I took one extra meter. Then you can do like the cat and use a break or you can start to cut the fabric. This cat is high maintenance. Pay attention to the grain of the fabric while you place the pattern on the fabric. I iron all the pieces before assembling them. Start placing the back and the arm to assemble them and see where to do the seams. You might have to do darts like I did on the front back piece. Tip, never pin your fabric like this. The pins should be perpendicular to the seams so you avoid breaking your needle. Don't forget to do a back stitch. And when you're done, then we do the same for the other arm.
make sure you have enough fabric to do the finishing. And I suggest you mark with a chalk where your seam should be. It helps to know where you're at with the machine Now it's time for the front of the arm, definitely the most challenging part of this project for me. I had to redo one three times since it didn't look nice. The next piece to assemble is the skirt in front of the sofa. So here it is, the slipcover is done. The result is good for a first time and I'm pleased with it. But it's not totally done. Now it's time to do the box edge cushions. First off, cut two top panels and add one inch for seam allowances. Using a large zipper, in this case the 100 cm long, cut two strips of about three quarter of the length of the side of the cushion and make it two pieces so you cut two pieces half the width of the side of the cushion. Then cut the remaining length of the side of the cushion full width. Using the half width pieces, sew them together at the end and then do a fold where they need. Change your presser foot for the zipper one, make sure the zipper teeth or at the, in the middle of the fabric. Pin one side of the zipper on one piece of fabric. So on the right side of the fabric, the zipper. Do the same for the other side. Now it's time to assemble the cushion. Pin together the top pieces with the side pieces. The corner needs special attention. After you sew this, you can sew the other side piece and then you'll finish your cushion.
hours of work, I'm happy with the slip cover. It will avoid our cat to destroy the surface of the sofa and hopefully we will keep it cleaner longer. So this is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel so far, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.